Good day everyone, just like I told the other day that I'd be doing a YouTube mini-series focusing on mental health but before before I get deep into the topic I decided to do a bit of introduction which I thought would be of great help so let's dive right in. Let us start with a rather simple question, how are you? I bet you might have heard this question like a million times so far and I bet every single time that you've been asked this question you reply like thank you, f thank you for asking, I'm fine, I'm doing good, now how are you? And I bet they reply the same too. So. This is a cycle that, is, that has been going on since the ages. So, what do you really infer from this conversation? Is that consent? So, what is consent? Consent is a feeling that is that gives a that gives a listener a feeling of reassurance from the speaker. So, is that consent really coming from the heart, or is it just being used as a conversation starter? We'll never know. You definitely see a cycle here, a stereotypical one at that, and it is very hard to break. Just like every other good thing that is focused for the betterment of humanity, it is. Very hard to change, of course, because humans are rather, uh, how should I say, rather blunt and stubborn for the most of the cases. So, and the world is majorly run on pre-existing opinions, so we just can't rub this opinion on. We can't just rub this half-headed opinion on people because people in this part of the country and in this part of the world just don't know what mental health is, and most of them are quietly unaware that even a concept called mental health exists. Because usually people here will have. A lot more on the plate because it might be financial, it might be family problems, it might be physical health, it might be anything but it might be anything but mental health because in all this chaos, mental health is just lost and no one has to be blamed. So, so it is quite clear that this is toxicity, toxicity at its best. So, how do we plan on breaking it? How do we plan on breaking the chain? We are one of the first few millennial generations, and being a millennial. Isn't a, isn't a thing to be proud of by any means. We just have to break it. If, if, you don't, if you don't, the future generations will not. They will not even touch the topic. And they will be forever succumbing to the pressure and they just don't know what they've been hit with.